What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to Football Manager 2019. It's Leon Live. It's episode number 17 today and we have plenty of matches coming your way. You can see just looking at the fixtures, Rennes, Dijon, Marseille, Manchester United. We may even get the nonce game in there as well. We'll see how we get on. I intend to play plenty of matches. There has been an international break since the Montpellier game last episode. I've skipped forward through a little bit of that. Um, just a little bit of funny stuff that I should talk about. So you might have remember I was talking about the fact I was feeling like I needed to rotate the team because match sharpness was a problem. And I was a bit confused really because it felt like when I was sending in players to play in the reserves... They weren't playing and getting match fit. So I decided just in the international break to go, right, let's check the reserve team fixtures. Yeah, we've not played a reserve fixture since September. Now, I don't know why this is the case. I have now manually set up uh, lots of reserve games of my own. If we just look at the senior staff responsibilities in the reserves, I had it set for our team manager to arrange um, matches, they weren't. The only thing I can think is that the winter update broke that for me um, in my existing save game and made it so it just stopped scheduling them. I'm hoping maybe it will be fixed next year. Otherwise, it's just going to be something we have to continue to do. But yeah, just so you're aware, um, it kind of solved some of the fitness worries and questions that I had. We beat, or rather drew, against Monaco's reserves in this first game. Trincao, man of the match, already improving as a result of that. Hopefully we'll see further improvements from our players who we've made available for the reserves. Now they're actually playing matches. But um, yeah, just a funny little fail there. Obviously, with us last episode securing a Europa League spot, we're not that far off potentially qualifying in the top three and getting our budget set for next season. So... I was just having a little nosy around the transfer market. Who was available? Who was transfer listed? There's one player who stood out. Jaden Sancho is transfer listed at Dortmund for 30 million. I really want to sign him. I wonder actually, could we? Can we negotiate a deal now for him? <laughs> that involves lots of instalments, like 30 million over three seasons. Are you interested? Uh, it's got to be a bit more than 30, isn't it? Like 32 and a half. Dortmund, are you interested? See, I don't think they're going to want us to be paying loads over the future, but it's Sancho, and he is available to sign very, very early here because, well, he's transfer listed. He never could becomes transfer listed, and we like our young attacking talent, but there are players who I think fear we might lose. Um, okay, we're going to have problems, I think, with our current budgets, but maybe he'll come into our budget. We'll keep an eye on him. Knowing my luck, he'll not be unhappy in the future um, and we won't be able to sign him. You can see here, I did negotiate with the board to get 100% of our transfer revenue recouped and put back into the transfer budget, which is good. Unfortunately, we're not in a position to ask for more money yet. Anyway, the international break has kind of come and gone for us. Fakir um, obviously was called up for the France squad. Depay put in a good performance for the Dutch national team, which is fantastic news for him. Great to see him get called up internationally despite missing so much football. Really shows you just how highly held in regard, I guess, he is. And, uh, well, hopefully he can, you know, get some fitness now and settle down. We've got some staff with contracts expiring. Gerard Houllier, I'd like to keep at the club. Perhaps a little bit of Liverpool bias in me. Obviously, we sorted out all our coaches at the start of the year, so I'm pretty happy just to renew all of these contracts. I probably could lower the wage demands a little bit if I was more fussed, but nah, I'm not, fu I'm not fussed. We could definitely negotiate down the kind of money they're asking for there, but it's okay. Uh, in terms of players whose contracts are expiring... I don't think there's any here that I want to renew, so we won't worry about them. Instead, we'll worry about the games today. We start off with two league games, Stad Rene. They are in 13th. Awar did come to me over the international break and complain about the lack of first-team football, so I am tempted to give him a bit of game time here. Uh, Rene, uh, they're okay. Obviously, in real life, they've just beaten um, uh, Arsenal recently in the Europa League, so we can't afford to underestimate them. But uh, I'm hoping we're going to do okay today. I think we'll bring in Terrier for St. Maximin. Although, actually, we could play Depay. And we will play Depay. That's what we'll do. Dembele's been a bit hit and miss as of late. Um, obviously, you can see some performances he's done okay and then scored. But there's been a general lack of goals. I'm hoping he's going to step up for us today. He's been improving a lot in training and looks like a fantastic player. So, um, you know what? We'll keep the faith with him. In terms of the rest of the team, Tete... Um, not 
a hundred percent fit. I think we'll bring in Lala just to be safe. Although actually no, yeah, no, we will. I was thinking we might bring in Lucas Romero to play right back, but Romero I see as more of kind of that centre mid rather than the right back, even though he can fill in there. The rest of the team looks pretty good. I think we will stick with Kanate ahead of um ahead of uh, Denea, just because Kanate's put in some good performances. And at 19, he needs game time. And, uh, well, let's get into today's game. It's a Sunday match. I'm not sure if PSV have, uh, PSG have played yet. I believe they play today as well. So we'll keep an eye on their game. As I said, the fixtures come in thick and fast immediately here, really, today. We've got this game. We've got another league game. We've got the, the Marseille game, the Manchester United game. If I'm not mistaken, and I might be, but I think all those games are in the space of two weeks. So this episode really is going to be kind of make or break in a lot in a lot of ways when it comes to, you know, our performances in the league. You know, if we can get two wins in the league, fantastic. You know, we're hot on the heels of PSG, and whilst we are the underdogs at this point, we are chasing on their heels as they go a goal up against Toulouse. Ultimately, it cannot be understated. If we could get top two this year, which we do look pretty likely to do, that would be a really good achievement for the first season. You know, uh, I feel like, yes, it's possible to win the league first year with Leon in real life. I feel like when you look at the league table, you'd have to say that PSG, the PSG side we've been playing against, they've not really slipped up that often. Um, I feel like teams will have won the league title with less points than what we're going to end up with this year. Anyway, despite that, at half time. It is nil-nil. Not a great deal happening. They're yet to have a shot all game. One half chance for either team. I mean, I feel like when you look at this, these stats, we probably should be ahead. So we're going to go more attacking. Dembele on a 6.5 is a teeny bit concerning. Memphis hits it. Not far wide there. Um, let's make a change in this game. I'm going to bring in Terrier. We're going to put him up top for Dembele, who has been a little bit disappointing, really. As that striker. In fact, I think we're going to play Terrier inside forward and move Depay to advance forward. That's what we're going to do here. Half an hour left. We've been all over them, but there has not been many highlights in this match. It's not been a classic by any means. Can we find a breakthrough here for Kier to Awa, who we have, of course, brought in for M. Dombele today to give him some first team opportunities for Kier? Ambitious effort that goes wide, unfortunately. It was not a bad effort at all. Was not a bad effort at all. We need to get a bit shouty shouty here. Demand more from our players. Let's make a change. Uh, let's take off Bertrand Traore and bring in St. Maximin on that right hand side. I think. We'll keep Fakir and Depay on. I feel like they are game changers for us, even if Depay has missed a lot of football. I've already gone and more attacking. I don't want to overcommit here, but at the same time, we need a goal with 10 minutes left here. So, with that in mind. Let's play a little bit less patient, a little bit slowly out from the back. And let's try and get a goal, I guess, in what remains here. I don't really want to go very attacking and risk us getting hit on the break, but this is just nothing. They are holding firm. We need a goal. I saw that PSG are winning. A draw here, really not good enough. We dropped four points behind them. We need to score half a chance maybe as the ball was whipped in here there is two and a half minutes left we have to be the team to break the deadlock here a draw and i do feel like we'd be kissing goodbye to our title aspirations they're on the attack here they've had one shot all game we have been all over them we deserve to win this game lala switches the play to memphis can he finish it depi tight angle keeper stops it that was the chance it was not a great chance maybe it was the chance though a foul on Fakir out wide. There is still time. A minute left. We need the goal. Fakir. Options queuing up at the back post here. Dinks it in. St. Maximilian heads it. The keeper holds on to it again. And we just can't find a way through here. We just can't seem to get that breakthrough. Ball lumped clear by them. 28 seconds left. It feels like this is just destined to finish 0-0, doesn't it? I want to believe there's still a late chance here, but with 10 seconds left, we have to get the ball forward with urgency. Terrier, not the ball needed. It's good to finish 0-0 here. The, the worst start possible in a lot of ways. Ah, that is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. Four points behind PSG. We were all over them in this game. We went more attacking. Perhaps I went more attacking a little bit too late with 10 minutes left, but it felt like one of those games where the breakthrough was just due to happen and it was a case of waiting for it. Unfortunately, PSG, two late goals for them in the 88th and 89th minute made them 
get a convincing win. And I do feel like that could mark the end of our, well, title hopes. Terrier is asking for a new contract off the back of a nil-nil. Yeah, you you can jog on. Um, we need to step up. We really needed to win that game. I can't, I can't quite express how much we needed to win that game. As I said, there are going to be teams in real life, I imagine, who are going to end up with less points than what we're going to get here. And they would have won the league. But PSG, you know, they've slipped up once or twice. But the reality is they have been very, very good this year. As have we, to be fair. But this has not quite been that breakthrough. Games like that draw are what are going to, you know, cost us the title, unfortunately. Look at the draw against Gungan, the draw against Angers. The draw against Amiens, who are bottom. The draw against Monaco, I guess, wasn't the worst result. I mean, it's frustrating, but at the same time, I mean, you look here. From 30 games, we've lost two. That's a really good record. There's eight games left of the year. We could, well, we could potentially end up on 98 points and not win the league, the way things are going. PSG just don't look likely to slip up. I'm hoping they're going to hit a rough patch of form. Terry has adapted to move into the channels. Good to see those player-preferred moves coming through that we were told the players wouldn't learn. There were a few others of those who came through in the international break. Uh, I think Toussaint can now mark more tightly, which is good. But, well, we're looking for a response here against Dijon. Looking for a response. Obviously, we've got the game against Marseille on Saturday as well, and we've got the game against Manchester United. So, with that in mind, I might need to rotate players a little bit for today's game which I'm more inclined to do given the fact we have just slipped up let's take out Kanate for Denea Toussaint come out for Romero Bertrand Traore um, you've been pretty poor actually in the recent game 6.96 same for Fakir you know a few players who we could really rely on awar has been poor as well a few players who I felt like we could really rely on have kind of let us down let's take off uh Traore. I'm going to give. Do I want to give Terry an appearance? You know what? No, I'm going to give Shadas an appearance at centre attack in mid for Fakir, I think. Because um, Fakir's been in poor form. Shadas deserves a bit more of a chance. Um, do I want to bring in Martinez? I don't know if I do, given his recent form. Maybe we'll just drop him for completely. Is it overreactionary? Am I throwing my toys out the pram a little bit with this rotation? You could probably you could probably debate it. You could probably argue for it. I'm always said to give Dejan Jolovic a game and just let him see what he can do. You know what? I'm going to. PSG play in the French Cup, so this is a game in hand that we're playing here. So we need to win this to put some pressure on them. I'm going to rotate the team in a little bit. There's a few first-team favourites, players who I've really put high stock in who just haven't performed, and we're going to try and step things up here. You can see, look at that. I mean, they, they're parking the bus, I think is the best way of describing it. They are playing with one striker and not a great deal defensively. Or even offensively. They've got a great deal defensively. And given actually how defensive they're playing here, I'm going to put the inside forwards on attack as well and just drop Shadas to support. So Shadas is going to sit, hopefully, in the gap. But you saw their formation in the preview there. It's not great. I didn't do a team talk. I hope that won't come back to bite us. We shouldn't need a team talk for this kind of game, really. I mean, you can see that formation they're playing. It's so defensive. Depay deflected. We'll take it. I think that's going to go down as an own goal. It is. After that last game where we dominated and it finished nil-nil, we needed a bit of the rub of the green. It's come here through a free kick, which I think deflects off two players and ends up in. I mean, ping-pong off the wall. They've set up so defensively this game that it's completely undone now by the fact they've conceded here. Can we get another? Jolovic, you know, we'll see what he can do today. It's a bit of a chance for him to shine. Memphis Depay. Dinks in. Jolovic is there. Heads it. Keeper spoons it off the line. Not the most convincing of 3D goalkeeping animations there to keep it out. It was almost over for Dejan's first ever senior goal. We're looking at him and Shadas, really, as two players who I do want to give first game football to. I want to give them a chance to develop. And given recent form, I feel like they're worth just having a punt in the first team. In some ways, the fact we've fallen away from PSG a little bit now means that we have less to lose. So I'm more inclined to just take a few risks with my team selection. You know, give some younger players a bit more first team opportunities. Upset the apple cart a little, you know, drop players like Fakir. 
Let's see if it pays off for us. Marcel, down this left-hand side, tries to cross it. It might have been a shot. It might have been a shot. It looked like an overhit cross, didn't it? Let's be honest. He's probably going to try and claim he shot it. I'm not buying it. I mean, so far, so good. We lead through an own goal that was very fortuitous, but when you look at the actual match stats, we have been the better team. Memphis dinks it in. Bat post Marcelo not far over. I mean, they're playing such a defensive formation that the fact we've switched both of our wide players to attacking is kind of just fine. Shadas has got a tight fine. is signalling he might want to come off. We'll take him off. I could have bring in Fakir. I'm not going to because I'm still bitter. And we're going to bring in Awar and give him some game time. He started that last game. He was pretty poor in truth. And he's not been in the best of form. But we'll give him a chance today. Although we are, you know, dropping the likes of Fakir and stuff for this game. I think it is worth just reminding you. We have got a cup final in three days. Some of it is down to poor form. Some of it is very much determined by the fact I want to go in and make sure that our players are 100% fit and sharp. Particularly given that after the Marseille game, just three days later, we've got Manchester United in the Champions League. There's some big games on the horizon with us, you know, flagging a little bit in our title bid. I need to just have one eye on the stuff that we are still very much competing in. That said, the team that we've selected here should be good enough, I feel like, to win this game handsomely. And at the moment... We're perhaps falling just a little short of those expectations. So many set-piece chances. We've got another here. Marcelo Batpost heads it, saved off the line. I mean, an hour gone here. It's somehow still nil-nil. They have done nothing all game. They're playing with one... I mean, is that a pen? It's going to be a pen, I think. It's got to be, it is. It's going to be Depay to step up. What can he do? Can he put us... A further goal ahead. Back from injury. Been out for a long time this year. Hits the woodwork. He can't shoot the rebound there. Because I think it hit the post. He's missed it as well. Which is not ideal. I think he missed one when he was fit earlier in the year. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of Dembele. But well. Dem uh, Memphis Depay. Little, little bit disappointing. I've noticed obviously you can change the kick takers of penalties in the game. You can't seem to change the penalty taker if the penalty is given due to a um, VAR decision. I might have been tempted to put Jolovic on it. Anyway, we'll make two more changes here. I'm going to bring in Denea for... Oh, sorry. Take off Denea for Kanate. Denea's on a booking. And St. Maximin also on a booking. We'll play it safe. Bring in Bertrand Traore. We are still only one goal up, so I need to be a little bit wary. But, I mean, we've just had so many opportunities. So many chances. Whip back post. Shirley. Memphis. Makes no mistake this time. Nine minutes left. Two goals to the good. Perhaps I can breathe a mighty sigh of relief. If we'd failed to win this game, it would have been GG for the season. As far as the league goes. But with this win, yes, we close the gap to PSG to one point. They've still got that game in hand, despite the fact that gap is cut. But at least we're applying the pressure. You know, if we slipped up here, it would have put them in a really kind of nice position. PSG, where... They're, they have a game in hand, they're four points clear. You'd expect them to walk home. At least with this, we test them. We continue to put the pressure on. And it's looking like we're going to get another clean sheet. Which, when you consider that we've lost Wallace now through a torn hamstring, is huge. You know, since he's tore his hamstring, we've rotated the defence a little bit. Marcelo's remained a core component of it. But obviously, we have had Denea um, come in and also Kanate. But, um, yeah, without Wallace, we're looking still solid defensively. Worth noting here, Marseille have just lost. They remain on 60 points. They are 18 points behind us with seven games left. So with, I think, a win or two more, we would guarantee ourselves Champions League football next year. And with that, if I'm not mistaken, the transfer budgets for next season would be set. And I might go and get Sancho immediately based on the assumption that we might end, we're probably going to lose either Fakir... Uh, Bertrand Traore or Depay. Anyway, a few of our staff members signing new contracts, which is good. The game against Marseille here on the horizon. So this is our best 11. Obviously, Wallace is out, so he's not going to be available for selection. But Kanate and, well, Kanate and Denea are going to be fighting for a spot. Denea, 7.24 average rating. Kanate, 7.24. They're literally copying each other at the moment. Um, which is not not a bad problem to have. I really do like Kanate here at centre-back. He's been looking pretty solid so far this season. But um, 
Well, let's, let's make sure we rest some players for today's game. I'm tempted to bring in Mendy um, for Marcel for the cup final. Although Mendy's recent form hasn't been great, has it? You know what? I'm going to stick with Marcel. I'm changing my mind more than the wind changes direction here at the moment. We will also just rest a few of these players just going into the game tomorrow. Want to make sure we're at peak physical condition for the game against Marseille. It's away from home, but it's a cup final. And we want to win it. Gerard Houllier renews his contract. I mean, that's got to be a lift going into this game. It's the Coupe de la Ligue final. We have to be wary of pay eight. And I, I agree with that. I do agree with that. We are missing Wallace. Our assistant wants to remind everyone in the press that we're missing Wallace. But yeah, this is this is a derby. This is a big game. Actually, I don't know if it's listed as a derby, but they are one of our fierce rivals. If we just go to general here, um, you can see fierce rivals, competitive rivalry against Marseille. It's going to enter another chapter, it feels like, here today in this cup final. This is a competition which... I'm not actually sure what our success has been in it in recent years. Have we have we won it in the past? I assume we must have done. Uh, da, 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 da. We won it back in 2000. So it's been a long time. You can see PSG have won it the last five years. There's going to be a new winner. We've we finished runner-up to Marseille in 2011-12. I want revenge for that game that I did not know happened until this moment. A repeat of a final from a little under ten years ago. By the way, Marin, performing in training. Yes, that's what I want to see. More improvement, please, Marin. Broke his foot to start the year. A player with a hell of a lot of talent. And uh, I'm hoping he's going to live up to it. With his recent training performances, I almost want to put him on the bench. That might be a little extreme, but it is crossing my mind as an option. He's kind of a player who's fallen a bit out of first-team contention. We receive £1.3 million as part of the Taliso deal. I mean, that's pretty nice. PSG taking on Strasbourg. You're in sixth. They can do us a favour, maybe. Also, Gungam. Beat Monaco. Beat Monaco, please. Um, so, team selection for today's game. We have a full strength team with the exception of Wallace. So, we're going to bring Denea in, obviously, there. Um, in goal, we're going to go with Lopez. I feel like Anthony Lopez has just been low-key a bit of a hero this year. 16 clean sheets in 28 games is really, really good. Obviously, Marcel going to play at left back ahead of Mendy because he's been in better form. Marcelo, kind of our experienced man in the centre, bit of a leader in the dressing room. This year, 7.49 average rating. I've not sung his praises nearly enough. It's it, We've kind of been a bit favouriting, I feel like, Wallace just because I signed him. So I feel like I can claim more credit. But Marcelo, at 31, is just looking like an incredible centre back for us. In the midfield, we're going to go with Toussaint, who's improved a lot this year. Very, very good ball-winning midfielder. Alongside him, Endon Bele. Again, just improving absolutely massively. Out on the left are going to be Depay. Coming back from injury now, hopefully he can find some form. Fakir, French international, back in the national team setup. I feel like him and Payet are kind of the, the big rival, really. The big rivalry here. When you compare the two players, I feel like you have to say Fakir is the better player. Obviously, that doesn't mean a great deal. It's going to come down to who shows up on the big occasion in this final. Bertrand Traore not been in the best form as of late. I'm actually going to warn his recent form. Because he needs to improve. And this is a chance for him to improve. And then we are going to go with Dembele up top. Dembele's recent form hasn't been too great either. I criticised him not that long ago. I want, I want to criticise his form again though. You need to play to our higher standards. The fear factor of the bench. Can that spur a performance out of him? Now I look through it, there's a few players who I probably should be criticising a little bit. But we're going to single out those two and see if they can turn up massively for us. Tete struggling a bit for match fitness. Uh, do I want to bring in Romero at right back? I don't think I do. We're going to stick with Tete. Who um, is still not in contention for the Dutch national team. Which is really disappointing because I think he's good enough. Hopefully he can fight his way in and, well, give us a great performance in the final to earn that spot. Anyway, let's see how we get on here. I don't know if this game is at a neutral venue or if it's um, at Marseille's ground. I don't want to think about it. We don't need to know. We just need to perform our best on the day. Let's see what we can make of this game, shall we? Big game against our competitive rivals, a team that our fans detest. They are going to want the win here. Marcel whips in Dembele, I thought, straight from kickoff. 
we were going to have the perfect start. You know, the, with the shout and well, warning of his recent form ringing in his ears, I thought Dembele was going to score us a crucial goal. The highlight hasn't ended immediately, which gives me hope we could still make something happen here. Bertrand Traore to Dembele. Lovely touch. Can he finish it? Rebound. He finds the back of the net at the second time of asking. Sometimes you've just got to get a bit shouty-shouty with the player. Sometimes you've got to tell them it's not been good enough lately. It's what we've done to Dembele. It's what we've done to Traore, who probably should be credited with an assist, really. But this first touch by Dembele, the chest down, superb. Probably should have scored it the first time of asking, but he gets the fortunate rebound and he slots it home. And before we can even get given average ratings, because it's so early on in the game, we're a goal up and we have another chance here. Fakir, back post, whips it in. Denea was there, Traore to mop up the pieces. Have a go, hits the woodwork, rebound maybe for Fakir. Memphis blocked shot goes wide, it's another corner. Pressure piling up though very early on here, less than 10 minutes gone. Marseille very much on the back foot, chance here. Denea, stupid foul. Can't complain. Might even get booked for it. In fact, he's got away with a warning. And Dombele on a booking is a teeny bit concerning. He's going to have to be on his best behaviour. We'll tell him to ease out of tackles. Lovely tackle there, although Strootman with it. Their Dutch international skews it wide. I think Anthony Lopez might have had it covered, but that's a little bit nerve-wracking. For all the dominance we've had, they have just carved us open on the break. Another set piece here. Fakir whips in. Denea's there. Now going to be with Traore to mop up the pieces. He dinks it in now. Headed clear. Only as far as Paye. Can we build it once more? You can see Marseille with all of their players behind the ball right now. They are not leaving anything to chance here. They don't want to go a further goal down here at this early on. We're knocking the ball around nicely. Bertrand Traore to Fakir. Really nice build up play. Ball ambitiously attempted there by Fakir. Lovely tackle by Marcel. More of that, please. Memphis drifts inside, tries to just curl it into that far post. Goes wide of the mark. I think Mandanda had it covered. I mean, so far, an entertaining final for the neutral. Loftus-Cheek through, Loftus-Cheek wide. Really good opportunity there for them. Really, really good opportunity. Fitness-wise, conditioning, we're looking a lot better than they are. They are tiring. Because we're having a lot of the ball, so we're making them chase the game. But while we're on top in this game, we could do with finding that second goal that could really help us breathe a sigh of relief. Bertrand Traore drifts inside. Thought he was going to go for his trademark finish as he cut in on his left peg. Unfortunately, keeper more than alert to the finish, which was kind of just straight at him in all fairness. Anyway, I don't really want to change anything tactically just yet. We are in a very a very good position right now. Memphis, wide to Bertrand Traore. Puts in the ball on his weaker foot. It's cleared away. Marseille look most threatening on the counter here. It's got to be said. That seems to be where they're having all their kind of play. A lot of it is seemingly coming through Loftus-Cheek as well. Finding a gap between our centre-backs. As Campos has it and he scores. I'm going to change something here. I want Toussaint to start a little deeper. We'll have him on the support duty, but I want him to just start a little deeper just to hopefully kind of limit Loftus-Cheek space that he's just getting in behind. But, well, against the run of play, Marseille equalised. That's Campos. Nice finish, to be fair, by our Campos, but could Lopez have done better? I would like to say he probably could have done. Anyway, we're going to go a little bit more conservative. We're not really winning the midfield battle right now. The average ratings kind of suggest that. I'm far from pleased, boys. End on Bele on a booking. Pretty poor. I'm going to bring in Awa for him at half time. One young French prospect for another. A big stage for Awa to make a name for himself, potentially. 1-1, one, one, though. It's been a very, very even game thus far. We were on top it early on. We probably needed to score one or two more during that phase of play. We didn't. Now we find ourselves in a situation where there is a little bit of momentum perhaps shifting Marseille's way. I'm going to make a big call here on the 66th minute. Fakir's on a 6.4. It's simply put not good enough. And I kind of feel like I should take him off. I'm going to bring in Memphis into the centre and then we're going to go with Terrier out on the left-hand side. I know that's a big call to take off the star player. A game changer, some could say. Our lead penalty taker. But he's been poor. 
And I, I feel like shifting Depay into the middle and putting Terrier out wide could work wonders for us. Marcel here on the left-hand side dinks it in. Traore's there, heads it. Dembele's there. It's a second goal of the game for him. We probably deserve it on balance. And while I'm not going to complain one little bit, it's his 16th goal of the season. This time Bertrand Traore is credited with the assist. He put that initial ball over to Marcel. The ball was whipped in. He followed up with a run. Put it into a danger area. Keeper couldn't really afford to come out for it. And well, Dembele, a little tap in at the back post to make it 2-1 here. I mean, we look very good. Set piece, though, for them here. Still only a one-goal margin. Two start out to Payet. What a stop that is by Anthony Lopez. Payet, their star man, looked destined to show up on the big stage in the big moment. Only Lopez able to deny him. Danger might not be over yet. Hopefully it is now. Indeed it will be. Another highlight here. I mean, if you are hoping for a calm 10 minutes of not a lot of action, it's not happening. I'm sorry to all the Leon fans out there. If we could get another, you'd say game, set and match. If we can, well, not mess around with it at the back, it would be nice. Dembele, not the best ball to him. He's not great in the air. So that kind of play, we can't really expect him to win the battle against the centre-backs. Against Rami, though, I expect him to win the battle of pace. Toussart here. Puts the ball out to Terrier. On off the bench, of course. A big call bringing him in for, for Keir. So far, he's looked pretty good. Marcel to Terrier. Whips in. Looks offside. I think it will be offside. I don't want to celebrate this yet. Is VAR going to chalk this off, or is it going to be a goal? It's, it has been chalked off. I did think it was offside here. If we just look as the ball's played in, yeah, he's a yard off. Then Bele denied his hat trick. It might not be over yet, though. He might still have another chance. Ball whipped in. Denea. Across to Traore, who finishes it. I mean, the two players we talked with before the game about their form have shown up rather largely here. That should be game over now for us. Denea with a nice little assist. Bertrand Traore with a goal. I feel like his performance does deserve that. Out on the right-hand side, he's been a, a figurehead in this team. He's been involved in every single goal for us. Amavi, questionable marking, but, well... We are going to have our hand on some silverware. I hope it's not the last piece this year, given how things currently line up with the league and well, the Champions League draw against United. This probably was going to be our best chance. And while maybe I shouldn't talk so soon, stop celebrating, everyone. Lower, lower the banner that says we're the champions. There's still two minutes left of this game. They've just scored. Payet, what a ball that is. It's got to be said. Marcelo kind of burnt for pace. You know, he is 31, 32 in just a couple of months' time. We've got to make sure we remember his birthday. But he's not got the spring in his step. There's 20 seconds left. We're in there half. This should all be over now. I really hope so. Toussaint switches the play over to Tete here. Now with our... I mean, this is fine. Eating up time on the clock. We are the champions, my friends. It's not the biggest piece of silverware. I hope it won't be the last piece of silverware we win here at Lyon. But, I mean, we ha we have to celebrate it and take it, right? Okay, no, no, don't celebrate yet. Have I really... No, not like this. Oh, my God. That would have been the most embarrassing thing ever to happen in the history of my YouTube channel. Marcelo, what is that rollout? Can we blow the whistle? Ref, you've played 30 seconds more here. Right, breathe, everyone. Breathe. I might have panicked a little there. May have turtle-headed. They hit the woodwork with 20 seconds over extra time. I'm going to congratulate the players. I was very tempted to shout at them, but I feel like we should probably praise them. We win the competition. £2 million added to the bank. And, uh, well, it's great to win the competition. You can see we're, we were the biggest overachievers. Dembele, with four goals scored, was the top goal scorer in the competition. I mean, I'm hoping now Dembele can kind of settle into some form. There were some league games there I did not see. Okay, PSG won 2-0. Monaco lost 2-0. I mean, at this point, unfortunately for us, it feels like PSG were not going to be able to catch them with seven games left. But 12 points ahead of Monaco now, I do feel like top two is pretty much nailed on. Oh, I'm annoyed about the league still, though. I can I can be happy, I think, that we're going to get second. We've played really well this year. We've lost two games all year. Just a few too many unnecessary draws, and PSG themselves really haven't slipped up. Further good development by Tussaud. I mean, Tussaud's got to be up there for most improved player, right, this year. 
He's been top notch. I kind of want to train. I was going to say I kind of want to train his quickness, but actually, I quite kind of like the training that I set him on previously with his passing uh, and technique and stuff. If we just look at his development since six months ago, you can see just big improvements just across the board. It says slight improvements. They're big improvements for a player who is 21. What about for Dembele? How has he developed this year? I noticed his dribbling has now gone yellow. I feel like that was 15 previously. If we just compare it to six months ago, you can see the comparison here. He, again, has improved a lot. You know, we're, we're a very young squad that's just going to continue to improve. Again, our here, compared to six months ago, not had the craziest improvements in his physicals. Hasn't had as much first-team football. But he's still done okay, development-wise. Vieira has been sacked as Nice manager. That's not very nice. Get get it. Get it. Yep. Yep. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> this game against Man United is pretty huge. We're at home for it, so I feel like we will play our attacking 4-2-3-1. I feel like we do have to be realistic here. In the sense that we are playing Manchester United in the next round of the Champions League. And even if you don't rate Manchester United in real life, which I feel like it's difficult not to at the moment with them uh, under Solskjaer, but... Even if you don't rate them in real life, I'm sure you've all come up against an in-football manager and know how terrifying they can be and how difficult they are to beat. In terms of the team, I'm kind of tempted just to go with the same selection that played the previous cup final. I'm actually going to swap Marcelo and Denea around. So Marcelo is on the back post for corners. It's normally the position Wallace would play. Marcelo is slightly better in the air than Denea. I know that Denea actually got an assist from the back post corners. Last game, I could alter the routine to make it so that the left centre-back is the one going into the back post. But honestly, it's kind of easier just for me to swap Marcelo and Denea around. Both players, if I'm not mistaken, are just right-footed centre-backs anyway. So, um, you know, it's not like we're playing a left back, uh, a left centre-back who's right-footed, you know, the wrong way around. I know some people love their left centre-back to be left-footed and the right centre-back to be right-footed. We've got two right-footed players, so it doesn't really make a great deal of difference as far as I'm concerned. Right. Marcel is struggling a little more for fitness than I'd like, so I'm going to bring in Mendy, who I know hasn't been in great form, and I'm going to I'm going to let him know that he's not been. In, in fact, I can't even criticise his recent form because he's not played enough games recently. I mean, Mendy, I'm just hoping you're going to come up big for us. Really, I think it's interesting. Despite all the additions we've made this year, you actually look at the team that starts today's game. It's all players who started here at the team. Let's see what they can do for us, shall we? Mendy's lacking some match sharpness. We're going to play on the front foot here. We're going to play attacking against Manchester United. They are being very respectful. Normally, I'd now set our wing-backs to be more attacking. I feel like here today, we're going to be a little bit more conservative. But I respect the fact that Manchester United are being more conservative in their play. They're playing a 4-1-4-1. I'm a little bit surprised that they're approaching it that kind of conservatively away from home. Clearly they're showing us some respect, which I respect them showing us respect. I believe they're going to be under Mourinho here still. Of course, Solskjaer in the winter update is their manager, but I feel like here and now um, Mourinho is their manager. So maybe he's just doing his typical Euro kind of European park the bus. The Kier hits it not far wide. It was a pretty good effort. I'm just looking at their team, wonder if there's any players who are missing... I don't think there is, really. I'm, there almost certainly is just a massive player who I'm not noticing isn't in the team. But I can't see them if they exist. They have a very good team, don't they, Manchester United? We're going to need to be at our best here today. Early on, we're edging possession. Not by a massive amount, though. Not by a notable amount. Of course, the second leg of this game will be next episode. It's in a week's time. Memphis drifts inside. Hits it. Oh, my God. Memphis Depay. Inject that straight into my veins. Sixth goal of the season for, the season for him. He's missed a lot of football. Against his former club, he scores an absolute worldie. Fakir with the assist. I mean, Memphis, what, picks it up? 30 yards from goal, 40 yards from goal, drifts in. Bang. De Gea, absolutely no chance. What a goal that is. What a goal that is. I mean, I'm, I'm a happy bunny, suddenly. It's a bolt from the blue. It's a real flash of quality here. And it looks like it's going to be the difference maker at half time. A few yellow cards for them. We're looking pretty disciplined at the moment in this game. Mendy at left back, not having a standout performance, but not performing terribly. I'm going to tell the players I'm far from pleased. 
Dembele's not having the best of games. I'm just going to tell him patiently. In fact, I've talked to Depay there, the wrong player, but you've reacted well anyway. But I'm going to tell Dembele, I want you to prove to everyone that you have what it takes to play for the club. I mean, he hasn't reacted at all to that. Hopefully, he can react to it. Maybe it just wasn't a, you know, a visual reaction. In his head, he's like, yeah, I am going to prove I'm going to be good enough. But he's I'm not a body language effort, expert. I'm a football manager. So I don't... Maybe he's hiding it. Anyway, let's see how we get on here. United immediately on the attack. Something we didn't see them do in the first half. And it's Alexis Sanchez back post header. Valencia with the assist. I mean, not the start to the second half we wanted. But perhaps just a, a bit of a crash back to reality. Antonio Valencia... From deep here, dinks it in. Sanchez leaps with... Who is that there? Who is it? I can't click on them. Number 23. I don't actually know who our number 23 is. I think it would be Dunea. Dunea, are you number 23? No, you're number 5. Marcelo, number 6. Tete? Maybe it was Tete. It was Tete. He's not known for his aerial ability. Right, 20 minutes left. Let's stop worrying about squad numbers. We need to make some changes. Both fullbacks have been poor for us today. But that isn't where I'm going to make my changes. I'm going to take off Bertrand Traoré and bring in St. Max and Min. Dembele's been really, really bad. So I'm going to bring Depay into the striker position and then bring in Terrier. And I think we'll hold on to our last sub for now. Just with 20 minutes left. I don't want to, um, you know, use them all at once and potentially leave us short of a sub if there was to be an injury or anything. Set piece here. for Fakir whips in. Marcelo going to be back post. In fact, no, it's not. It's two start. Marcelo rebound blocked. Terrier blocked. Someone shoot and score. I mean, would I take 1-1? One, 1-1 one? One, one would not be bad. We really need to avoid conceding a second away goal, he says, as they get a free kick or a corner, rather. Denea heads it out to Sart. Deals with it. No nonsense. Memphis a bit on his lonesome here. Trying to hold up the play out wide. Crunching tackle there. That's a red That's a red card. Is that Pogba? Paul Pogba's going to miss the next leg through suspension. And, well, for the last five minutes of this game, they're going to be a man down. Second, um, second yellow card for Pogba. He's now redded. I just wonder what formation they're going to play. They're playing... Uh, I was hoping they were going to drop their striker. No, they're going to play quite a compact midfield. So we won't change anything other than going more attacking here. Time trickling away, that red card's kind of come a little bit too late. But this is the exact result we got against Atletico last time in the previous leg. And they're going to be without their star man Pogba. Although, oh, Terrier had a chance to win it at the death. I mean, look at those match stats. 10 shots on target to 2. 61% of possession. We have bullied them. Unfortunately, we just couldn't find that breakthrough. And I'm a little bit far from pleased about that, if I'm honest, boys. I was hoping that we could step it up. I was really hoping we could step it up. You can see we're going to be now without a game between this game and the United one. So a chance for us to recoup and rest our players a little bit. Marseille, you're in fourth. Do you have a game during the week? They do. They have a game on the Saturday, which if they were to slip up, we would, I believe, be guaranteed a Champions League spot. So we'll just go forward to the Saturday and just see how they get on to conclude today's episode. And the next time out, we'll start with the um, you know the next leg. Tete wants a new contract. Lopez, can you... No, okay, Lopez can't solve it. I can't afford improved right ter uh, new terms right now. How much do you want? You're on 29 grand. I've told him that we're going to give him a new contract. I'm hoping he doesn't want more than 40. 51! And a yearly wage rise. Are you taking the Michael? Right, that, well, that's been removed immediately. He wants a four-year deal. I mean, mate, you need to ask your agent here to be more reasonable. You've got, what, two years left on your current deal? Okay, he's lowered his demands to 44. I wanted him to take 40. I'm going to be cheeky and ask for 43. It's not a small amount, but my long-term ambition here is to be fighting PSG for the title. And if that is my ambition, and it is, I feel like we are going to have to start paying our starting right back, for example, in the region of £40,000 as a starting point. Whilst we don't have the money of, say, a Premier League side, the reality is that players like our right back probably should be on more than thirty grand. Marin's put in another good performance in training. I've praised him one too many times. It's the first time I've done it all year. I mean, the fact he's continuing to develop is good. 
Uh, assistant probably apparently doesn't rate his potential, I noticed there. I think it's gone down to three and a half star. I know that Marin, in my heart, is very, very good in football manager, so I'm not going to worry about that. Anyway, it can be interesting to see what other fixtures are coming up. I guess that we're not playing in the league here. Um, I guess due to French Cup games that are going on, if I had to hazard a guess. Doesn't look like PSG are going to be in action, but Mar Marseille is the game we care about, as is the Monaco game. Yeah, you can see here, PSG in the French Cup. What round is this that they're in? It's the quarter-final. PSG drew against Porto. I'd kind of like them to get through, just so that they're tired and have more fixtures to play. Obviously, we're going to have the same fixtures to play if we were to get through as well. But it's going to be a tall order. Old Trafford, a really tricky place to go to. Looking at it here, Marseille won, unfortunately for us. So they are currently 14 points behind us. Is that right? Yeah, 14 points behind us with six points on offer for them. Oh, sorry, not six points on offer. Six games left, so 18 points on offer. If we were to win, we'd go, what, 17 points clear of them with 18 points left on the table. At this point, we're pretty much guaranteed, you know, a Champions League spot, but I believe our budgets for next season will be set once we know that we're guaranteed Champions League football. That would open up the opportunity if I want to go for Jadon Sancho and he is still available to kind of swoop in for him whilst he's still unhappy. Which, I'll be honest, I'd quite like to do if it's still, you know, something that's possible. It does look like he's vanished. So maybe he's not transfer listed anymore. Maybe that window of opportunity has been missed, but we might still be able to go in for him depending on how much he's been playing for them. Some interesting players transfer listed here. Some reasonably big names. Players like Dennis Suarez, who of course in real life has made that move to Arsenal, albeit on loan. Kenny Lala out for four to seven days with blisters. Not ideal at all. Tete gets a new contract. He's happy about that. And, uh, well, I think that's going to do us for today. We have the Manchester United second leg to kick things off next time. We then have a tricky game against Nantes, who are going quite strong in the league, but have tailed off. Angers are in fifth. They're a, they're, uh, they're a scary team. They're going to not be easy. And Bordeaux in eighth. So a few games who are going to test us. And then not far away, we've got, you can see the conclusions of the league season as well on the horizon. But anyway, guys, I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, do drop a like on it. Let me know what you make of our recent form. I feel like we're starting to find our feet just a little bit more. That draw against Ren, definitely disappointing. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to bounce back and come back stronger. I feel like, unfortunately, even if we were to win the remaining seven games of the league season, it might not be enough to catch PSG at this point. But we're going to do our best. We're going to give it our, well, utmost. And we'll, you'll have to tune in next time to find out if we're able to pull it off. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed. I will see you guys again tomorrow. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.